our sermon today that drives us into the amazing grace of healing and setting the captives free is God is a spirit. John chapter 4 verse 24 God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Be a partaker of today's healing session as we introduce to you one afflicted by an extensive skin disease, Mr. Walugembe Kasim. It has spread all over his body that you cannot imagine his experience, coupled with a lot of body swelling, pain, irritation, with discharging wounds and a continuous scratching all over his body that has limited him to his own peace and freedom. We can further confirm this deadly situation as we bring to your view this medical report of Mr. Walugembe Kasim, where the medical doctors confirm that he is truly suffering from an allergy that has become so severe in this one week. But no matter the continuous efforts made by the medical doctors, all is in vain. It is only God's unconditional love that can draw him out of this cage of pain, shame, and continuous scratching. Let us watch as Prophet Samuel Kakande commands healing to enter his sick body to become normal again in Jesus' name. And if a man of God is a gentleman who has a severe skin disease and he keeps scratching himself because it is so itchy, and he has pain and in the legs with swelling, you sprinkle this water upon yourself. Walk, you are free. Thank you, Jesus. Remember now, he can walk in Jesus' name. Let us clap our hands for Jesus. Everybody thank Jesus. You are free. To God be the glory. Jesus has broken the cage in which Mr. Walugembe Kasim has been locked with an extensive skin disease that has troubled him for one full week. What an amazing grace that Jesus Christ has showered upon him that has brought him back with a testimony. Let's listen to him to the glory of God. Praise the Lord. My name is Walugembe Kasim. From, from Sanji Central Zone. Brethren, I've come to testify to Jesus. I went to the village. I spent there about two days, but on leaving, I left when I was feeling itching in my skin. When I went to the doctor, they told me that you're suffering from allergy. They gave me some tablets. Got sores all over the head. My entire body became rotten. Even inside, I could no longer eat hot food. I could only eat poppers and watermelons. My, my entire body got swollen, especially the legs. These legs that you see were so swollen and big, they could not even fit in the shoes. And they were so septic. All the time I kept on scratching my skin and ash like scales would peel off. You can see some of the scars that remain to indicate. And this body, let me show you. Brethren, now you can see me. 
Now I'm a human being. He looked at me and he saw that he was riding a dead person. He didn't ask me for any money. He said, you enter, you're the one who knows. I had that disease for one week and four days. After Prophet Samuel Kakande praying for me, I felt something coming out of me. Now I'm healed, brethren. You can see me marching. I'm no longer being supported to walk. Thank you, Jesus. I could not squat like this. Whenever I would squat, my legs would get torn because they were so swollen and big. Now, even if they bring any hot food or hot tea, I, kill. I thank Jesus for healing me. I thank so much, Prophet Samokakande, for praying for me. Come for your package of healing and deliverance from the hand of the servant of God and the blood of Jesus Christ will wash you totally clean by the power of the Holy Spirit. With the Spirit of God filled with various packages of healing and deliverance, we yet bring to your view another diverse problem that troubled Mr. Mtabazi Dick throughout his life ever since his childhood. This is a brother with a problem of bed waiting. On a man I know is Afuka. That is Mr. Mutabazi Dick. Yamami Mutabazi Dick. He's 36 years old. I name Yakasat Mumukaga. But he has had this problem of bed waiting for 36 Baza. years. Nayaba Yamukasebo. Baza. Yamukasebo. Sunday, come and give your testimony. Saba Kusanda, come and walk with you. Lizzie Wall. Bedwetting is over. Okufuka Kubuli, Kuende Wall. Clap for Jesus for this miracle. Kat Kubila Yas Mungala Chamagala Chino. You are here to give your testimony. Kusanda, Tukulindi, did they come out with you? When you carry your burden to the Lord Jesus Christ, He will provide you with immediate answers. For shortly after Prophet Samuel Kakande praying for Brother Dick, he has come back with his entire family to thank God for his deliverance as we can witness. My name is Mutabazi Dick from Mpererwe. Besides me is my wife Natukunda Grace. These are my children. I've come here to testify to Jesus. I came here with a problem of bed waiting for a period of 36 years. I came to Kampala. People at home got fed up of me. They were calling me a misfortune. So I stayed here in Kampala. Then I got this wife of mine. She endured my problems and I continued with this problem of bed waiting. Now time came. She told me my husband go to the prayer line. And I had refused to come because I warned her. I told her never tell this problem to anyone. And you should always speak in a low tone so that the children don't get to hear. She had bought a polythene bag which she lays on the mattress before she lays the bed. I asked Jesus to forgive me because most of the time I've been accusing these children of mine falsely. 
The challenges I have faced, I've been embarrassed wherever I went. I was going to the village and then I spent a night in Fort Porto town. I, I bedwetted in the lodge and the, the workers there in the morning abused me. One time I visited my friend in Bugerere. They laid for us beddings, they put the gomeses there. But by morning on waking up, I found I had bed wetted. They called me an abomination. I was so embarrassed, I no longer had friends. The only friend I had was my wife. When I came on Thursday, the man of God prayed for me. So when I went back home, my wife gave me porridge. I drank it, but even when I went to sleep, I didn't bed wet. Until today, I've never bed wetted again. This is the holy water which man of God gave me. Brethren, I thank Jesus. And I thank my wife for being patient with me. I thank Jesus. Who delivered me. This is my wife who has endured these problems. My name is Natkunda Grace from Umpererwe. This is my husband. And these are our babies whom the husband has been choosing falsely that they are the ones bedwetting. Brethren, I've gone through a big number of challenges whenever my husband would bedwet. He would lie to me that the children urinated on the bed during the day. I could no longer lay nice bed sheets on our bed. Our mattress is wide, but I would just get it and raise it against the wall because I fear to take it outside on the sun to spread it. What I decided, I said, let me buy a polythene bag that I keep putting it under. So that you can continue with this bed wetting, but the mattress will remain dry. By the time I produce these children, brethren, don't you think I've been patient enough? Man of God prayed for my husband when I'm seeing him. He fell down. So my husband never urinated on the bed again. Brethren, I thank Jesus for healing my husband. I thank Jesus that I keep him all the time And leave man of God. Amen. Clap for Jesus. When God is set to deliver, his mercy is in abundance. He will search your deeper inner secret to loosen you from the chains of Satan, to bring you out with flying colors that you can testify to his glory. Are you in a similar situation? Come and meet Prophet Samuel Kakande for a prayer and your life will be changed in the name of Jesus Christ. And our prayer days are Thursdays, which is the deliverance service, and Sunday, we have a thanksgiving service. Remember, all prayers are for free. God bless you. You are great, yes you are.